This video has been published for entertainment purposes only. Tattooing should only be performed by licensed trained professionals and should adhere to all local health codes. This video also contains needles and blood, which may be upsetting for some viewers. Hello, tattoo friends. This is week 10 of 52 tattoos. And we are here at Dark Heart Tattoo. If you're new to my project, my name is Ariel, and my goal is to get 52 tattoos in one year. After this episode, I will only have 42 more to go. It's a rather warm, wet day due to the rains and melting snow. This is going to be the last tattoo at Dark Heart for quite some time. The next time I expect to be back at Dark Heart is sometime in July. I think it was. So let's get inside where it's warm and dry to see what Chewy has for me today. So like I said, this is week 10 of 52, and honestly, I didn't think I'd make it this far. I just kept my head down and working hard at it, and don't be fooled, this is work. Getting the tattoo is the easy part, and I'm proud of what I've accomplished here. This week's tattoo is going to be a cute bat on the back of my right leg. Chewy handed me a couple different versions of the bat he drew up. It's funny to watch the video and see these pranksters giggling while I look at one of the drawings that had some naughty bits drawn on it. That's all I'm gonna say about it, boobs. Not gonna lie, it made me laugh. Anyhow, you get the idea. Where was I? Oh yeah! So the cute bat Chewy came up with was great. I showed him about where I wanted it. Chewie got set up, made a stencil, and I jumped up on the chair or whatever table thing. And Chewie got to sticking the stencil on. Well, here's the problem. It went too close to the sad bunny thing on the side of my leg. This tattoo is going to have a cover up done and I want to make sure there's enough room for that. So Chewie wiped it off and reapplied it. I took a look in the mirror and yep, I think we have a winner here. I approve. Thumbs up. Chewie gets set up and before you know it, it's time to start this cute little guy. Now, if you're asking why a cute bat, the answer is because I said so. No, seriously. I love bats. I'd love to have one as a pet. If I could have a pet bat, he would sit on my shoulder and we would go on adventures solving mysteries and, and ha. <laughs> okay, okay. As I mentioned in episode one, for the Ursula tattoo. I really like bats. Bats are in my zombie pinup tattoo on my right leg. Heck, in my second episode was dedicated to bats around my neck. I just like bats. I'm always on a quest for a taxidermy bat. I haven't found one yet that I could get my hands on, but I will. Oh, I will. The quest for dead bats continues. Also, have you seen pictures of bats lately? They're cute, am I right? Do a search for cute bats and you will see what I mean. Bats are cute. They're like puppy dogs with wings. So the color of this guy is going to be purple. To explain that he's going to do the eyes so they look shiny. And I'm totally down with however he envisions it. I don't know how anyone could possibly walk away from Chewie's work disappointed. Anyhow, it's time to get to watching some tattooing and see Mr. Cute Bat here get done. I'll be back at the end, so I'll see you on the other side.
So Chewie's about finished here. While he wraps up this cutie, I'd like to encourage you to click that subscribe button for 52 Tattoos. That's the best way to keep up to date when new videos come out. Hey, you know, comments are also good. I still have 15 appointments I need to make. I may need some inspiration and I was really hoping for some help with that. I'm open to tattoo ideas if anyone out there watching has any. Tattoo shops and artist recommendations are always welcome. As long as they're within 100 miles of Chicago. So if you have some thoughts, just drop them right down there in the comments. Don't be afraid. I read everything. The weird thing is, I think Chewie somehow, he channeled my bat I got from Build-A-Bear last October. My little bat reminds me of that. And I'll throw a picture of him up on the screen. It's really strange because I didn't show the stuffed bat to Chewie at all. If you never heard of Build-A-Bear, it's a place where you can construct your own stuffed animal. It's mostly for kids, but whatevs, I do what I want. Well, here we are, friends. The final wipe. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes, I see that bruise, by the way. That was not there last week, and again, I have no clue how that happened. Anyhow, got off track there. I took a look in the mirror, and ah, I'm so happy with this. I love his little Buddha belly and his eyes. Oh, this is so great. Chewie took some pictures and then I did the most awkward impression of a Renaissance Fair employee. Huzzah! Then I paid Chewie for his fine work and we made a fun game out of that. Chewie clearly won. <laughs> I usually pay with a card, but cash is still king. I said my goodbyes and was on my way. This is going to be the last time at Dark Heart for a while. All shops I have lined up support what I'm doing, but if I ever get into a pinch some week, I know Dark Heart staff is going to be there for me. Love you guys! I want to miss you. A week later, and this is what my cute bat tattoo looks like. He is still healing, and at this point I have some interesting healing data for you. Let me enlighten you with my intriguing thoughts. It seems as though tattoos located at the end of limbs farthest away from my core are more difficult to heal. Closer to my core, they heal faster. Interesting, hmm? I like everything about this bat. Chewie did a great job. I mean, I don't know what more I could say about this bat. It just exceeds all my expectations. I love the eyes, the tummy, the little hairs on his head. Just everything I wanted and more. Well, that pretty much is it for episode 10. I would really like to thank all of you for watching my tattoo show here. It really means a lot to me to receive all the interest I've been getting. So seriously, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to 52 Tattoos if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this episode and my cute bat tattoo, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine too, because cute bat will still be cute. So have a safe week. I hope all your tattoos go as well as mine, and I will see you all next week. Bye! Boops!